Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So I'm working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas and I'm using some rustic colours. So I'm using black and white along with some copper and some gold. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to puddle my paints on the canvas, swipe through to, make, to mix them up a little bit and then I'm going to use white titanium mixed with Australian Floetrol to create some cells and lacing. So I'm just going to puddle the paints now and what I'm going to do, I'm just doing this in a random order. So I'm covering my full canvas and then what I will do is do some swiping, tilting and then I'll stretch out the design to get the composition that I'd like to. You probably saw my blue one. If you didn't, I'll link it below and go and check that out. That was really well received and I loved the blues. But I thought what I'd do is i go completely different and almost go to an alternative colour palette of just black and white with those two other colours of copper and gold, just to see what kind of design I can create. One thing that I kind of consider and bear in mind when I'm doing these puddles is the paint on the edges, that's literally going to go off the edges and, and down onto my table to reuse again. So I'm not being too fussy with the colours that I put around the edge. But what I want to be mindful of is when I'm stretching out the design that I've got almost like an equal kind of tone. So I'm making sure that I'm layering the puddles consistently throughout that canvas also in a random order, but I want to make sure that I've got enough of each colour. There's quite a lot of air bubbles, so I'm just going to torch this before I swipe through. So you'll see me swipe across the design, and that's basically to kind of mix some of that colour palette before I swipe using the Australian Furrow Troll. So I'm literally just swiping across the canvas and I'll do that a couple of times. But one thing that I do want to do is to kind of get that balance of cells versus block of colour. So as I swipe across, I'm just looking at the blocks of colour that I've got and the colour that I'd like to kind of keep in place. So now for the, uh, the swipe using the Titanium White and the Australian Floetrol. So as you know, this is the bit that's going to cause and create the cell formation and the lacing. So I'm just swiping very slowly actually across the canvas. I'm just taking my time and as you can see it's creating some gorgeous cells. But what I also want to consider is when I'm swiping, what edge am I going to kind of drag off the canvas first? That's something that I'm really kind of mindful of when I'm doing this technique. I do have a lot of paint on the canvas. As I said, I want to create that balance of cells and blocks of colour. I do have a few gaps just on the edges, so I'm just using up some of my excess paint just to fill those edges. What I'm going to be doing is, that's literally going to go over the edge. So I'll be scooping all that back up for a painting in the future. But it will just help with the flow of that paint over those edges as I tilt to have a look at the composition of the design. So what I do when I'm tilting and stretching out the design is I almost get an awareness of where those paint puddles are. So when I finish the creation and I've stretched it out to a composition that I'm really happy with, I'd like a consistent layer of paint on the top. I don't want heavy puddles to be in certain areas because as that dries, that's going to affect the drying time. 
and also affect whether the actual design cracks as it's drying because if there are inconsistent puddles then the danger is that the drying time will be different and that's when the cracks will appear. Okay guys, here we are. So this is the wet version look and I really love the balance of this piece and what I mean by that is there are areas like this where it's full of cells and lacing and then we move over to an area where there's a lot of block of colour so you can see the black, the gold, the white and the copper. Let me show you some of that detail before I show you the dried version. So here we go guys, the dried version. And this piece has been sealed with gloss varnish. I really like the detail on this. I love the colour palette actually and I'm really pleased with the balance that I've managed to create within this design and some of those details there that you can see as I zoom in. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope you have a great week ahead and I hope you'll join me for my next video. Thank you so much for all of your support and I'll see you soon. I'll leave you with some of the detail. Take care. Bye.